Located on a Belgian main street, we spot a house that seems to be neglected for a while now. Curious explorers as we are, we decide to take a closer look. Inside we are surprised with the treasures that are still left behind. We find out the house was occupied by a Belgian couple, Marcel and Lily, who had a strong passion for art. Enjoy a tour inside of their home along with us as we will give you a glimpse inside the art of their lives. So we've made our way on the area right now. Friends of us are waiting inside. We don't know what the access is already. One thing for sure, it's clearly abandoned. You can still see the garden chair over here. All the vegetation. And the door is right open for us. All right, so making our way inside. And actually, we immediately go into the kitchen. And this place is recently abandoned. So yeah, you can definitely tell. A lot of stuff is left over here. And the stuff that is left, some is modern, but the interior is very old fashioned. Yeah, there is a microwave over here. Some bottles of water. What's this actually? Oh, it was a meat slicer, I think. Ooh, I thought it was a skill. Yeah, it's a meat slicer indeed. I better watch out. Yeah, over here you see it. <laughs> over here. You know this? Yeah. From the Lidl. Yeah, it's uh, soup from shrimps. Literally everything is left behind in the house. Pots and pans are also still in the furnace. And actually a crazy fact, all the wardrobes and everything is emptied out. So literally everything that is inside of here is on the tables. So, yeah, instead yeah. of just leaving it in the cabinets and the wardrobes, Indeed. they just placed everything on the furniture. Mm -hmm. So, would there actually be still something inside of this fridge? No. As you can tell, it's emptied out. Alright. Well, let's go to the living room. And then... You can already see what we just told you. Wow. Well, it looks messy at first glance and that is literally because what Raymond just told. They placed everything 
on top of the furniture but what a neat living room so many beautiful artifacts unbelievable this is actually really cool in the kitchen it's actually telling with a specific dish which spices would be the best for it for example you had meat but you also had baked fish roasted fish very cool set of crystallized glasses here on the table yeah very beautiful and actually the first thing that sparks my mind over here is this you see it what it is i think it's like sort of a knife sword Wait a second this is a fork and then on the other side this is a knife yeah well I'm just gonna put it back. A pretty cool artifact. And I place it back over here. Also all the colorful beautiful vases here on top of the cabinet. I mean there are so many of them. And also some beautiful artwork. All handmade paintings. Yeah and on top there is also another one and it might have been the Belgium city. And there is a name on it, M. M. D. Mook. So the man's name was actually Marcel. Marcel. And his wife's name was Lily. So Marcel and Lily lived, we hope, a happy life over here. And yeah. But this painting might be made by him because the person who made it, the first letter is an M. So maybe Marcel liked to paint because he definitely had an artistic sense in yeah. his interior. You can definitely tell, I mean, also look over here. So many small details. All the plates, the glasswork, literally everything. Also, a quite neat chandelier, an iron one. So this is absolutely beautiful over here. We have the old fashioned irons. And then, right next to it, the angel statue. Well, you can definitely tell the place has been abandoned for several years. Although it might be recently, this is not recently. No. Take cobwebs here. Even more statues and ornaments. And this was actually the place of painting on. So I think he definitely was a very artistic person and then a very neat china as well. Wow. These are very unique but as you can tell so many dust. Yeah and they are also very unstable. You have to be careful where you walk in this place. Indeed. And over here the typical liquor. Have a look. This is actually... Oh. Well, I will put the translation of that right now so you actually can see what the translation is because I don't know the translation, but that's typical Belgium liquor, and especially for this area. And then over here, where Raymond is standing, he actually saw something interesting, I guess. This is one of the coolest. This is this is really special. I, I don't know how to describe it in words. You see it? It's like an animal, but it's, it's a, a lion, map. and they made a map inside of it. And I think this used to be the Netherlands and Belgium when they were still one country. This is really old. Damn. Yeah, when you, you can see Germany over here. Indeed. As well. And where? Oh wow! Yeah, that's really interesting. And what's also really beautiful is on top of here, have a look, the bust. And there is also some tiny bird ornaments here. It's so special how they made everything. And you can definitely tell that they loved art. This actually looks like the mirror from Snow White. And then right next to it, single sewing machine that's a classic find when we are in an abandoned house in belgium yeah. or france 
and actually pick this up. Look, music instrument. Oh, this is a mandolin. Damn, quite satisfying. Well, we placed that one back. Let's see what else we can find. We're not a statue. And just very, very fashion furniture. Look at the chair. Wow. Looks very royal, actually. Yeah, it's beautiful how they stuff those red chairs. They are really neat. But I absolutely love the fireplace over here. Have a look on all the ornaments on top. So religious and that is absolutely beautiful. They literally carved out all the wood over here. This is really detailed. Have a look. The crucifix, but also the candle holders, the clock. Wow, it's very detailed. Although it might look pretty old, I think it's still quite modern, especially if we look to the television right next to it. Sharp, yeah. It's a very modern one. Indeed. So, the house looks more old than it is because the person definitely had a passion for historic things and art. You can definitely tell it was just an elderly couple who lived inside of here. Yeah. Marcel and, and Lily, and, and I yeah. think they definitely lived a very wealthy and happy life. Indeed, because they owned a lot, and I mean a lot, also a lot of art. And literally what we are now exploring is the aftermath of their life. Unfortunately they passed away, and the reason why the house is abandoned is because the inheritance did not meet an agreement about the shares, and eventually the house has been gloomily left deserted in the state it is now. Indeed, indeed. Anyways, actually over here, they had a table. They could just sit there, get her around, around the television, or just have some nice conversations. The lamp, absolutely beautiful as well. But have a look on so, top of so this cabinet. Are... So crazy. There's so many of them all these little statues I'm going to slowly pan through everything so you can see all the small ornaments left behind it's absolutely unique love all those details also the crucifix over there and the painting on top of here it's also beautiful and then against the window there's even more artifacts and there are some quite special ones in between it I really liked one with the wooden Maria over here but this one I think I like the most have a look at the lion with the shield and then the barometers right in front of it entering the main hallway and as you can tell this was the main door over here and what I actually immediately see is right next to the door are all these old-fashioned sticks yeah those were definitely some walking sticks we guess this was an elderly couple because they passed away of old age and yeah they definitely needed these ones when they went out for a hike love this face, wow. So colorful. And then imagine, this was their view when they walked in every day. Beautiful painting on top. And even more statues, busts, everything. So many art. And there was even another sewing machine right down beneath here. Another shield. Have a look. 
actually, what is this over here? Those were even more of these walking sticks. And it's pretty rare how they are. Yeah. How they are placed, isn't it? Yeah. They saw something like this. No. Huh? No, they've all been put in the wooden thing over there down beneath it. Well, and then we go into another room. But first, I want to tell you some surprises. The electricity in this place still works. And many people often wonder why. How is that possible? I mean, the place is abandoned. Is somebody still paying electricity for the electricity bills? Well, the answer is no. No. In Belgium, everybody gets a small amount of electricity so they can just live, you know? It's, it's like something from the government over here. Like, everybody has the right to get some electricity, a small amount of water, and just to survive. That's the main thing, actually. Exactly. Even if they cannot afford it, the Belgian government will provide them with a minimum for electricity, water, and it's, gas. It's a pretty nice thing, but yeah, in an abandoned building, it's still really sad to see. Anyways, right behind you, there is a beautiful room. Have a look. Wow. So many details, a huge bookshelf. And oh. also pretty crazy fact, we just showed you that light is still working. Well, <laughs> bye big man. Well, all right, I'm just gonna put out electricity. Yeah, we don't wanna cause any damage. burn or damage to the indeed, place. Indeed, so. Well, follow up. Well, there is actually a lot of random things on the table. Thermometer and a barometer over here. This alarm clock is still ticking. looks repulsive <laughs> the dead flies but have a look they were also definitely intelligent there's a lot of books most of them are about history also with television and there are some more paintings on the wall so over here they had a sofa as well Oh my, this might have been a grandson. Indeed. Picture and is still left behind there. It looks pretty recently. Yeah, he's definitely still alive. Beautiful clock as well. And a Christmas card. Mm, it's giving me chills, man. Yeah, it's pretty sad to see. So actually it's saying, Merry Christmas, Orna and Philip. So I think those were two relatives or friends of them. They were also definitely religious people. Over here on the ground, some vacuum cleaners left. Okay, so opening up over here. This was like a side part. And I don't know if you already can hear it on camera, but this also gives me a little bit of chills inside of this place. The place is abandoned recently. You can tell that they are still discussing what to do with it. The place neglected stuff is about to fall apart. But this, this is really strange. This freeze over here is still on. No way. Yeah, you can tell over here. They literally scrapped the ice. Would there still be food products inside? That's what I'm wondering. You can see it over here. No way, dude. No freaking way. There's even bread inside. Okay, I really want to see all compartments. It's not very smelly. No, no, of course not. Smelly. Smelly. But yeah, these, these are all empty. I think only in here. But yeah, you can tell it's stuck. It's This freezer hasn't been opened for a long time. Yeah, it's tell. not clean. No. It's full of ice and everything. Oh, wait, in here. Yeah, that's full of mold. Just leave it like this. But yeah, this is so strange. 
It really is. And yeah, then this one. This one's emptied out. So strange, man. And but I see some food products, so immediately yeah. close it up. They can be very smelly these fridges. And I guess only over here. There are still things in the cabinet. Oh yeah, have a look. Oh, and you can see mice. Oh mouses. Yeah. yeah, mice have been here. Some mice droppings. They're on the platelets. Okay, opening this one. Ooh. Oh, there's even more mice droppings. I wouldn't be very surprised if there was a mice or a rat just jumping outside of the shelf at the moment we are opening it. <laughs> and I can tell by the look of your face that you are quite worried now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now this is fine. Very well. This is also from the Lidl. It's, it's like a store that yeah, I... Yeah, the, the Lidl is like a Dutch and Belgium store for the yeah. people who don't know. But it's also in other European countries as well. Indeed, indeed. Germany and actually everywhere. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty worried right now, actually. Not, not much inside of here. Well, yeah, this one... It has a key. No, I can't open it. It's I think it's so rusty, dude. Yeah. Actually here, against the window, there are some pots. And then we are actually entering sort of a barn pot, a garage. Yeah. And I first want to show you something. This is what a friend just gave us. And yeah, these are real bullets. I think the man maybe did some hunting in his leisure time. Yeah, normally these are hunting bullets, so... As you can tell, they are still packed. Interesting. Alright, I'm just gonna place this down over here and then give it back to him where they found it. Well, my head was already touching a lot, a lot of cobwebs. Yeah, gotta be cautious with the camera. And then you can definitely tell that this place just has been abandoned and neglected for a very long time. I mean, look at the wall over here. Yeah. Looks very, very dirty. And also over here, they even had a toilet. Man, this was actually the only toilet that was inside. Well, there is actually one upstairs in the bathroom we are about to see. Okay, okay. Otherwise, it would be very sad for the past donors. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And yeah. oh, this this looks like a scythe or something. I like a farmer's scythe. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is, indeed. Oh, but I, I love the pattern on that, man. I mean, have a look on the colorful pattern. Special. Yeah, and again, this is just the garage part. Some garden tools. Not very much interesting things. Oh, this is cool. This was like a work part. Have a look, it's quite cool. All different tools and appliances. So yeah, the man also definitely was very handy. Okay, so it's time to go upstairs, and this is actually pretty cool. They had a curtain over here, and a little fence. Don't forget to put up the fence. All right. Artwork over there. And actually, have a look at the rope. It's like they didn't have a banister, but it was like a rope mm -hmm. going up. Man, and also this artifact over here. Ooh. Well, I knew it's pretty scary. Whoa, what's this? That's not a rock, that's literally an animal. And this was the bedroom of them. Well, I think you can tell that the man did some hunting. Have a look on the animal over here. This house holds so many mysteries, dude. Yeah. It's 
pretty crazy. Wow, have a look over here. The globe. Oh, I really love this one actually. Yeah, this is a beautiful on. one. Damn, they were some really, really odd lovers. Yeah, you can tell. The statue's right next to it. There were so many art inside this place, and I'm sure many people watching right now wish they could just save some of these things. Yeah, really. Even if they could buy them, I mean, they were literally left to rot inside of this building. Indeed. Well, I'm really curious actually over here. No, everything is emptied out. Yeah, as you can tell. But... There are some belts and some clothes inside of here. Yeah, and they're also still in the foil, like they're so clean. And literally again, some cases and a lot of clothes just... They put them outside of the wardrobe and they store them over here, maybe temporarily, but clearly no one is taking care about the property anymore and... For a very long time. Yeah, and it's just wide open. Let's look over there. It's also beautiful. And then actually on top, there were even more things. So, the last two rooms inside, and we covered this beautiful house in Belgium as a well. wall. Indeed. And this room, I think it was actually a chill room and just a storage room. Look. Man. We keep on finding more statues in each and every room, yeah. I mean, they're literally everywhere. And what I also, what I also is pretty crazy is there are a lot of sewing machines in here. Yeah. Like, we already found three, maybe even four. I think Lily just loved to sew. Yeah. Anyways, to show you the rest of the room itself. Indeed, just a storage room, maybe even some laundry or something. <laughs> <laughs> another sewing machine over there. Singer. Yeah, another singer. There are so many inside. Also all the old magazines and boxes. And also on top of each window there is even more. And you can tell it's gathered into cobwebs. So the last room is actually the bathroom. Just looks like a normal plain bathroom. Oh wow, this is actually cool. This looks like one of these very old perfume dispensers. An iron. Wondering if the water is still working. No way. Yeah. <laughs> it's still running. Man. Okay, let's quickly put it out. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely tell it was an elderly couple living here. I really hope they died in peace and... Indeed. There's even still the toilet paper left on the toilet. I think that was it, man. Yeah, that was it for the house. Well, as you can tell, they were really, really, really odd lovers. That was one thing for sure. Yeah, obviously. And, and yeah. The last thing I want to say, I just really hope they lived a very, very good life and they died in peace. I hope something happens with this place. I mean, like, you can still make something of it. And it would be sad stuff. to see if people steal the beautiful ornaments and the art inside. Indeed. I mean, like, everything is just wide open on the table, so they can literally pick what they want. So, yeah, it's really, really sad to see. And after all, I really hope you enjoyed watching and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment down below, ring the bell notification button and then we will see you next time. Peace out.